right, so let's talk about uh, let's talk about Tesla getting the go signal from old standard and pours. Oh, we're talking about that, not the tequila. Uh, did you see that a couple weeks ago? They came out with their own tequila. I did not actually. Wait, what is this tech? Yeah, so I mean, Elon, Elon just being Elon. I mean, does uh, it come with the booty shorts? Probably. I don't even know what it's called. I think it's just called Tesla tequila. Anyway, this is probably what put them over the hump, honestly. They, or maybe they just knew they were going to be on S and P and they just uh, <laughs> try to celebrate. They just I don't think they call. I don't think they call it Trace Comos or whatever. Whatever it is. Uh, is that is that what it's called? Yes, yes. Trace Comos from uh, Silicon Valley. Of course it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no. Like like you said, Comas, uh, you knew that right? Uh, yeah. It's not Comas. <laughs> I mean, it could put you in a coma. But it's a three comma. Well, it's, it's trace comas. Come on, Spanish. You speak Spanish in high school, right? I'd speak more of it than you do. Yeah, I probably do. Uh, but yeah, like you said, uh, Tesla's on S and P or going to be on S and P five hundred. Looks like December twenty first. Um, so what, well, just what, what is it? Elon's Christmas, so he can afford some more gifts since his net worth skyrocketed back up again today. As Tesla added, I think it was it got up to like thirteen percent increase, and then it settled around eight percent increase as more. Yeah. I don't know if that's less. Um, that's not even including the amount of money that's about to flow into Tesla's uh, stock because once it's in in the S and P, all the index funds that track the S and P start flowing into it as well. You know, that's just. Right. Pe- 20 year olds in their basement um, going and opening Robin hood and buying three more Tesla shares. Uh, you, shut, you shut your mouth. Pete. <laughs> you don't have I'm a lucky to buy three right now. You're 27 and you don't have a basement. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> it was supposed to be a compliment, but continue. Anyway. Yeah. So like you said, uh, we're talking about how, S and P is now is prone to movement of Tesla, and also um, we're estimating that around like twenty to forty billion. I know it's a huge uh, gap there <laughs> in money. Is going to be a, uh, it's a rounding error. There's only yeah, yeah, yeah. there's only a couple of the trace commas in that rounding error. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, who knows how much? But multiple billion is going to be put into uh, to buying Tesla stock coming from large institutions, not just the 20 year olds in their basements. <laughs> um, and so that, that'll definitely uh, help, help boost the stock or at least in theory. Um, I, I think, I think you brought the point earlier of like, who's going to be kicked out in exchange for Tesla. If, you know, it's S and P 500. So someone's got to leave if they're coming in. Um, Somebody's getting showed the door. You think it's gonna be anyone we we've heard of, or is it just gonna be some some random? Well, you've company? heard of most of the S and P five hundred. I would imagine it's probably gonna be a low performer with not great growth prospects going into the future. So that I'll, I'll take there. Well, yeah, I know. I, I'm very controversial figure, as we know. Oh, but, uh, uh, I don't know, man. It could be a could be a shitco oil company. It could be uh, some sort of hell. It could be a cruise line for all we know. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll see. I'm not going to speculate because you have 499 guesses that you are likely to get wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a, there's a couple we could probably rule out, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I think, I think that's just, um, it's interesting. It's, it was also, it, it, this is going to happen in due time. You know, they weren't added originally because they were, they had balloons so much that people in the concerns are still there. Uh, the people that run the S&P 500 were concerned that such a big company coming in would have such now undue influence on the actual index. That's not going to change. I think they were just, they're more comforted now that Tesla put up another quarter of profit um, and that the stock price has not receded rapidly. You know, there, there was no bubble pop um, to, and I think that maybe assuaged some fears and I, I'm looking at the Tesla tequila right now. I couldn't help myself. And it is $250 okay. and in the shape of a lightning bolt. It's just, it's exactly what you expect from Elon. Um, yeah. <laughs> a fucking freak. Uh, a very rich freak. Um, you think the uh, SpaceX one thing that just launched uh, had some tequila on board for the astronauts? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Every corporate event, every event they're going to have for the near future, 
$250 for tequila? Come on, man. Like, I don't know if I trust that one. <laughs> uh, the bottle is dope, though. I'm going to lie. It doesn't have a worm in it, though, so it's not really official until it has a worm in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you say so. Yeah, I, I, it's one of those things. Long time coming, good for the stock. I think it helps validate the company to a lot of investors that either don't get the Tesla quote unquote story or aren't weren't one hundred percent convinced an electric vehicle company can actually, you know, command the market cap they do, and also uh, command the profits that they're seeing at the moment. Um, you know, they've got all cylinders firing over there in Tesla. Yeah. I, I won't lie, I was speculative for a while. I mean, just short term at least long term i was like okay this this is a disruptor it's gonna be fine but same that's how yeah, i think about all the ev companies I, I think there's gonna be heavy competition in the future as the more established names start throwing dumb you know when i say dumb money i mean fuck you money <laughs> at the problem <laughs> and uh the problem of petrol cars and now you're gonna start seeing more and more evs come out from all the legacy names and tesla's not gonna be the only game in town so the, you, they're going to have to put their money where their mouth is. You know, they're all their new S and P money with innovations, better battery life, things of that nature. Well, you know what they're doing, right? Uh, at least, at least what they're doing in Austin, not, not just the new uh, Tesla plant. They are uh, Elon, Elon's little uh, prize project here is the uh, underground tunnels that he wants to do. Um, and oh, we're getting the boring really, project. The what? We're getting the a boring project. That's it's uh yeah, it's there's murmurs. Yeah, somebody told him that it's only solid limestone under the ground the entire <laughs> area. And he said that, yeah, and he said that's perfect for, for Tesla. Uh, little, little does he know what we clearly know, seeing Mopat go up. Uh, that's not the case. I'm not running into some beetles or some caves or something. Yeah, but he's also willing to spend a lot more money than the uh, lowest bid contractor did on Mopac. So <laughs> anyway, so, oh, so pivoting from something people that – didn't grow up in Austin won't <laughs> will understand. So I, we, we both agree though, this finally validates Tesla to not only reluctant investors, but people who maybe not, we're not firm believers. Um, and it also gives it a better capital base um, being a part of the S and P. Yeah. No, this is nothing but good news for Tesla and, and Tesla's talk. Right? Yeah.